Welcome back everyone to Useful Apps. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can forward or copy a message from a private Telegram group to another group, any other group that you're in. To start, I'm gonna actually be sending a message and some text through Telegram. I'm gonna click send in the private group. So this group is actually called private group. And if you look, if I go to my destination group, what you're gonna see in a few seconds is the message will be forwarded to this group. Actually, to do this, I have to click start forwarding right now in my uh, app, which will just do that for me. So as you can see, from a private group, which I'll just show you how private this really is, let me just go to the settings here, uh, just to show you how private the settings really are. Uh, if I click the three dots here, and manage group, you can see that this group is not only private, but actually has restrict saving content. So now when I click save and save, uh, I, can, I can now see that this group doesn't allow even saving of the content. And, but in this group, which is not a private group, this does let you save the content. So the way I achieved this is using a software called Relaygram. Now, of course, I don't recommend doing this unless it's your own group. Of course, you have to pr um, protect other people's privacy. We don't want to... Um, like obviously use this against somebody else's privacy but this app will definitely let you uh, create rules that will allow you to move messages from one place to another and actually manipulate them as well for example if you wanted to change them to a different language or anything like that using AI you can do that as well let me show you the rule here it takes from the private group that's the source the destination is the Chinese group as you can see over here you can add more destinations like other uh, groups you can add to multiple groups at the same time and make sure this is active and uh, you can't check this box because this is uh, this eight because this is only for message of groups that are not private then that will work this will m forward the message as is so we want that to be unchecked and over here you can see i did ch uh, translate to french i want to translate this message to french and one of my favorite features of this app relaygram is you can add a conditional prompt like if the message contains a curse word contains private con uh, doesn't contain private information for example and only then I want this message to be translated to French and then forwarded of course if I put nothing here it's just going to forward the message as is okay let's go back to uh, telegram go to our private group again send a message um, hello my name is Bob and now we're expecting uh, from the private group a message to be translated to French and written into this group and also into the compliments group as well. Because remember, we asked for it to work on all of the groups. I forgot to click start forwarding again. So forgive me for that. Uh, here we are. Bonjour, je m'appelle Bob. And it went to the compliments group as well. Uh, let's test this again um, with, with private information. Uh, hello, my name is Bob. Email is bob at bobby.com. Now it shouldn't send the message because we didn't meet the condition because there is private information here. Uh, so now that's why it didn't actually do anything. But if I write another message like, hello and welcome to the group, now it's going to translate from the private group all the way through to the other groups that we've requested for it to do all of these groups now one more thing i want to mention about this fantastic windows app is that first of all just a side note though it has to be always running and uh, forwarding for this to work and also the rules are completely customizable you can create many rules and of course to your liking however you need it to uh, to do the work also it can have a trigger in one group and then obviously change the information and trigger to another group. I also didn't forget to show you that it can forward photos as well and other types of files and it has to be running. Remember this has to be running on a Windows computer for this to work consistently. To get this go to relaygram.com. The link should be in the description. If it's not it's spelled relaygram.com like this. Bye everyone. Thanks for watching.